Dear students, before we proceed to the next problem of this motion of connected bodies, I just want to say something more. We have discussed just now the horse and cart problem and we have seen that the acceleration will be positive if h is greater than f. That is the forward component which is there that is more than the friction of course. There is a question in NCRT, right? It is 5.23, question number 5.23 A part. The question is, the horse cannot pull a cart and run in the empty space. A horse cannot pull a cart and run in the empty space. What is the meaning of empty space? Empty space means vacuum. A horse, it will not pull the cart in the empty space. It cannot run and pull the cart. Why? Because in the empty space, try to follow me, in the empty space, there is no gravitation. Acceleration due to gravity is zero. Right? This is why almost the horse will be floating. It cannot press the ground. When it will not be able to press the ground, it will not be able to get any reaction. A is in him because horse is almost in a floating condition it will not be able to press the ground so it is not getting any reaction other is a reaction na mila then there no question of the forward component due to which it is moving so mainly in the empty space due to the absence of the gravity this happens it cannot run and cannot pull a cart if it will not be able to run run nahi kar payega run nahi kar payega to kya hoga it cannot press the ground if it is not pressing the ground cannot get the reaction reaction nahi milega to forward component nahi milega that's why it will not be able to run and move forward right this is the answer of this question now here slightly a different type of the situation there is an inclined plane i hope all of you are familiar with the inclined plane I have discussed it in the case of the friction also. I hope you all are remembering those situation. Here is an inclined plane. This angle is 90 degree. This is 60 degree. This is 30 degree. Two masses of each 1 kg each. They are connected with each other through a pulley. There is a pulley. Over this pulley, over the group of this pulley, the string passes. Obviously, the tension will always be acting towards the pulley. Tension will be acting towards the pulley like this. Then what will happen? Obviously, it is in the inclined plane. Then what we have to do? In this direction, 1 into g. mg, weight, 1 into g. It's, it can be resolved into two components. One in this direction and I hope you all are remembering if this angle is 60 degree this is also 60 degree so so this is this is here uh, G cos 60 degree this is G sin 60 degree fine here also the same way in this direction G then in this direction and this direction this is 30 degree. This is G sine 30 degree. Actually, I have not written here G cos 30 degree because G cos 30 cos components dono ka jo hai, wo normal reaction se balance ho jayega. Hai na? Ye bhi normal reaction se balance hoga. Ye bhi normal reaction se balance hoga. Iska either normal reaction rahega, either iska normal reaction rahega. Dikhane ki jorot nahi hai kyunki these are not contributing in the motion. So, we can apply now the FBD for FBD, look, FBD for, uh, this is first mass, this is the second mass, let us number it like this, this is the first mass for first mass, first mass, first mass ke liye kita hoga, ye ho jayega, acha, ab, you can use you up to make kya hai? 
I have to find out the uh, tension in the string and the acceleration of the system. Acceleration of the system. They go. Normal course, we have to see that the body is going to be here because it is steeper. But if I have to see the direction of the direction, I have to consider that this is the same. That means A will go in this way and here A will go in this way. Okay. If I consider like this. Suppose, if it is not that, ये मान लो लास्ट में पता चला रहा है ये गिरेगा इधर तो कुछ नहीं होगा ये नेगेटिव आ जाएगा सो नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन कंसीडर ए इन एनी डायरेक्शन बट फ्रॉम आवर जनरल कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम आवर जनरल कॉमन सेंस नॉर्मल कॉमन सेंस सिंस बोथ द मासेस आर इक्वल इट इज स्टिपर आई एम कंसीडरिंग दिस साइड द मास विल मूव तो इधर ए तो लगाओ ए बी डी फॉर द फर्स्ट मास ए बी डी फॉर द फर्स्ट मास व्हाट वी शैल गेट इस साइड में तो G साइन 60 डिग्री माइनस T इज इक्वल तू 1 इनटू A 1 इनटू A मास ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन इसको मैं इक्वेशन नंबर वन कर देता हूँ इस सिचुएशन में G साइन 60 डिग्री माइनस T इज इक्वल तू दिस मैटर देन FBD FBD फॉर सेकंड मास सेकेंड मास अप्लाई फॉर द सेकेंड मास ये तो इधर जा रहा है सो टी माइनस जी साइन थर्टी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वन इंटू ए लेट टेक इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ यू एड एडिंग व्हाट वी शैल गेट वी शैल गेट ट्वाइस ए इज इक्वल टू जी साइन सिक्स डिग्री माइनस जी साइन G sin 60 degree minus G sin 30 degree. So what we shall get? A is equal to G by 2 I take common sin 60 degree minus sin 30 degree. Means how much? G by 2. Here it is. Here it is. Root 3 by 2 minus 1. इसका मतलब ये कितना होगा g by four root three minus one लोग ये तो मैंने भी देखा I think we should get this value we are getting here both will be added so g sine sixty minus g sine thirty so ultimately I am getting this acceleration तुमने मिल दिया तो you can find out the tension by using it in any equation that is not a actual at all a problem all right, it's very simple. So this is regarding this question. This question was on an inclined plane. Moreover, this value is positive value. You can understand. Root three minus one. Root three is one point seven three two minus one. It's a positive value. That means what we have considered is this direction. Yes, it's correct. A will be in this direction. If it would have been negative, तब हमें मानना पाएगा ए उल्टा डायरेक्शन में रहेगा. So ऐसा नहीं हुआ. ये पॉजिटिव ही है। One more question, I just discuss here, dear students, and it is not an NCERT question. I'm just discuss by my own. Look, I'm considering a system like this. Suppose. There are four masses, one, two, three, four, F. Each mass is smaller. Look, on a smooth surface, there are four masses, right? There are four masses, each of value M. And suppose there are Three chords. Here is the tension T1. This is T2. This is T3. These are the three chords. You know, these masses are connected with each other with the help of the chords, strings. This first mass, if I say 
this is the first mass this is the second mass this is the third mass this is the fourth mass ठीक है first mass this is the first mass right तो क्या होगा first mass is pulled by the force f we have to find out the tension in each chord chords are different so tensions are different chords have been changed so tensions have been changed so what to what to find out acceleration of the system kya hoga a f by 4m understood force by mass total mass total mass theek hai to ab bahut aasan hai यहां पे टेंशन कैसा रहेगा इधर भी रहेगा इधर भी रहेगा टेंशन इज अ म्यूचुअल फोर्स यहां पे टी वन जो लगेगा ये सेकेंड मास में फर्स्ट पट्टा रहेगा फर्स्ट वाला भी सेकेंड पट्टा रहेगा इसलिए दोनों सही लगेगा तो एफ बी डी फॉर फर्स्ट मास लगाओ एफ माइनस टी वन इज इक्वल टू एम F minus T1 is equal to m into a. So what is T1? F minus m a. What is this? F minus m into f by 4m. Cancel हो गया. तो कितना है ना? 3f by 4. Simple. 3f by 4. अब तुम लगाओ next f b d. और सेकेंड मास लगाओ सेकेंड मास पर लगाओ क्या होगा यहां पर भी टेंशन इधर भी रहेगा इधर भी रहेगा सो टी वन माइनस टी टू इज इक्वल टू एम यही होता है मास टू एक्सीडेशन आई एम टेकिंग इट फॉर द सेकेंड मास सेकेंड मास के केस में तो टी टू कितना होगा टी वन माइनस एम टी वन कितना होगा थ्री एफ बाई फोर माइनस एम एफ बाई थ्राइस एम ओके कैंसिल हो जाएगा तो यह आ जाएगा एफ बाई फोर देखो एंड आई लिव इट फॉर यू यहां पर टी थ्री ऐसे रहेगा फॉर थर्ड मास तुम लगाना अपने से तुम अप्लाई करना एफ बी डी फॉर द थर्ड मास विल बी गेटिंग टी टू माइनस टी थ्री and you will get definitely you will check it it should be f by 4 please check you will please check this t3 is equal to f by 4 that means what we are getting sabse zyada tension yahan par maximum tension less least that means the chord which is nearest to the force has the maximum tension and the chord which is farthest from the uh, force that has the minimum tension right these are some questions okay thank you